Um, this is a bit of a disclaimer. This is a parody of Cinema Sins Everything Wrong With series. A lot of people don't get the sense of humor and get personally offended by these videos. Uh, they think that the creator's trying to bash games that other people love. But in reality, Undertale is one of Chari's top 10 favorite games. So please, if you love Undertale, don't take this video too seriously. Let's all try to enjoy making fun of one of our favorite games, okay? See ya! And the human's dead. Like, seriously, you expect me to believe a bed of flowers broke your fall? That's like, what, a thousand feet? A flower bed isn't gonna save you from a thousand foot fall. Howdy! I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Flowey the flower. Okay, let's say, theoretically, Toriel never came for us and we somehow got past Flowey. How the hell are we supposed to know how to do this puzzle? Nothing tells us how to do it. What, just because the floor is colored differently, we're supposed to know which stones to step on? As a human living in the underground, munchers may attack you. Well, that's kind of racist. Well, it's spacious more than anything, but, you know. A puzzle requires pieces of information to solve it, and you want to know what information you're supposed to have in order to solve this puzzle? This patch of lighter floor. Last time the lighter floor was the stuff we weren't supposed to touch. How the hell would I have known this time? It's floor! Also, what's preventing someone from just, you know, swimming to the other side, ignoring the puzzle completely? Please, remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. Wait, so you just carry an extra cell phone with you to give away? Like, I know people that carry multiple phones with them, but this cell phone can only make calls. Do you always carry one on the off chance that someone did fall down into the underground? Speaking of the underground, how do cell phones work here? Are there phone towers built in the underground? Whoa there, partner. Who say you can push me around? Wait, how come sometimes rocks are rocks, but other times rocks are not rocks? See? This ghost just keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? How can I move a ghost? Aren't they incorporeal? Can't I just walk through Napstabluk? Let me try. Okay, so I know that ghosts already defy all laws of physics, but how is he crying up? And I think more importantly, how are his tears creating a hat? Leave 7G in the web? Okay, I know kids nowadays have all this crazy internet lingo such as don't at me and Fortnite, but what am I saying yes to here? Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down to the right. Come eat food made by spiders. For spiders. Of spiders. Well, first of all, we're not even a spider, so to say that it's for spiders isn't really correct, but isn't that kind of weird? Like, isn't food made by spiders of spiders the equivalent of if humans made cookies with their pee or something? Man, the things Undertale never makes a question. I just realized that it has been quite a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. Yet you had a cell phone with you on the ready in case you did have company. Planes can't talk, dummy! But you just- okay. I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. How could she be carrying groceries when there's nothing out here? What store did she go to? I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Snail pie? Toriel's small chair. Its name is Cheriel. Not only why do you know that, but why does the chair have a name? The fire isn't burning hot. Just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. I don't know how to tell you this, but fire is fire and fire burns. I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. What the hell? It took me half an hour to get here. Tops! How did you go grocery shopping, put everything for the pie together, finish baking the pie, and put together an education curriculum in the time I was gone? The pie alone would have taken you 45 minutes, and that's just the time it takes to bake! You couldn't think of any conversation topics? After she just graced us with a book called 72 Uses for Snails? Yeah, go right through. My bro made the boss too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. I'm not really calling out the conveniently shaped lamp, because, I don't know, haha foony, but why do you have a random lamp just outside your sentry station? Sans! You are not helping, you lazy bones! All you do is sit and boondoggle! You get lazier and lazier every day! <laughs> hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. <laughs> I know there are a lot of these moments, so I might as well get breaking the fourth wall out of the way right now. <laughs> 
Hans! What did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Hold this, please. Okay, try now! If not for Papyrus giving us the answer, how are we supposed to know how to solve this puzzle? Human! I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? Haven't you been standing here for a while waiting for me to get here? Did you not notice there was no puzzle until this very moment? Uh, the word kid should not have an apostrophe here. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left of me? Human! Hmm, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so... But, wait, didn't you just say you were surprised I got past the spaghetti? What do you mean I was taking a long time? This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull the switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. Well, that was incredibly unlucky. The odds of getting that combination of tiles is 1 in 36 duo decillion, 703 on decillion, 368 decillion, 217 on illion, 294 octillion, 125 septillion, 441 sextillion, 230 quintillion, 211 quadrillion, 32 trillion, 33 billion, 660 million, 118,801. Yeah, I checked the wiki. That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't even know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Okay, I feel personally attacked and I am not okay with that. I just realized, a lot of younger people today might not know what TLC means, or even who TLC are. They probably only think of the TV channel, and that makes me feel old. I blame the game. Fuck you, game. This challenge... it seems... maybe... too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one! I'm a skeleton with standards! Papyrus, one of your puzzles was literally stepping on two shapes and then pressing a button. Awful teen has tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. So you knew they were tormenting Gift Trot and instead of, you know, undecorating it, you decided to mock it by decorating an actual tree. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. How would the underground know who Santa is? They started the tradition of decorating a tree and putting presents underneath it because of Gift Trot being vandalized. Where does Santa fit into the equation? Even then, assuming that Santa still exists in the human world in this universe, isn't it a huge coincidence that the same character exists in both the monster and human worlds? Yo! You're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Again, I feel personally attacked, and I do not appreciate that. There's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics! Don't make a politics joke, don't make a politics joke, don't make a- And look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? And what if I am, Discount Mike Wazowski? While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. What the hell does that last part have anything to do with magic? By that logic, monsters will never understand the joy of... Swimming? I don't know. The last time I prepared a bone attack, my girlfriend kicked me out of the room. Wowie! We haven't even had our first date! And I've already managed to hit the friend zone! Okay, Toby, what's with the personal attacks? Like, did I... did I do something? Did I... did I hurt you? You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. Did... did I just pill for money from Papyrus' couch? And that's my room! If you finish looking around, we could go in and, uh, do whatever people do when they date? Considering all I can think of is the word bone right now, how about let's not and say we did? The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. How do you have negative two followers? A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. You never see it come back. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. In preparation for a date you didn't even know you'd have? I mean, I guess it's better to be safe than sorry, but... We interrupt Undertale to bring you... Big the Cat's story from Sonic Adventure? Big the Cat! Would you get out of here? You see, 
I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Papyrus, you whore. Wait, why do you have a comb? You don't have any- Ah, oh, it. By the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Good talk, Sans. Weird flex, but okay. Suddenly hentai. A haunting song that goes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Well, I only played seven notes, so...